Hey there birds, welcome to another career message. So today we have a little message that you may need to hear around your career, okay? It's totally okay if this doesn't resonate at all. Uh, this is a general reading, so maybe you want to check out last week's reading, okay? And I actually feel like this may actually be like um, sort of a catch up of last week's reading, like a continuation of that reading. Uh, so if you haven't watched that one yet, maybe you want to do so. And tomorrow we have a live. Uh, I think I think it's around morning time for the states, um, but yeah, we're gonna answer some personal questions. Okay, so if you have any and you would like for your question to be answered, we're gonna do that tomorrow. And yeah, so as always, if this resonates, don't forget to smash the like button for me to subscribe. If you haven't already? The private for private readings. If you're interested in that, the link is gonna be down below. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well. Okay, so let's get started with this. So I've already pulled some shells for you and let me tell you, this is intense. So straight away, we have the universe shell and the angels, angels shells. So we are being so guided right here. Okay, you are definitely on the right path. This is definitely telling you that it is, that you are. Okay, uh, I definitely feel like you, what you're doing could actually be your um, life purpose. Okay, if you um, call yourself a star seed if you resonate with that term. This is definitely your mission why you came here on earth. Okay. And man, you're just being so guided. And I kind of feel like whatever you're doing moving forward, it's, it's like, there's no wrong turn. There's no wrong choice. There's nothing wrong. There's nothing you can do that you can mess this up. Okay. Especially because with this one, this for me, it's all about, um, seeing the good and bad, like getting out of a bad situation and getting a lot of clarity, okay? What I was picking up on was um, I was hearing like the the last piece of the puzzle. It's like everything all of a sudden is starting to make sense, okay? So if you're not going through this right now, I definitely feel like this is happening um, pretty damn soon. I do feel like that new moon energy was really really powerful because it was an eclipse and so now you're getting all the answers you need to be able to move forward in that manifestation that you did okay um and you may be thinking oh but i didn't manifest anything you are always manifesting never forget that okay because your thoughts create your reality so whatever you tell yourself that's what's going to happen okay so if you believe that you are going to have one million dollars, you're gonna have one million dollars and the universe is going to provide you the opportunity to get that million dollars or more, okay? So keep that in mind, but let's see. Now that we're talking about the universe, let's pull some messages and advice. Ah, <laughs> trust, trust the spirit guides and the universe because you're always, always being guided here. We have meditation. I definitely feel like you're, your guides and everyone around you, all the entities around you, whatever you believe in, they are definitely trying to communicate with you, okay? So meditate a lot, but also I feel like dreams here are really important. Maybe if you like writing and journaling, maybe try doing some um, intuitive writing, okay? Because I definitely feel like that final piece of the puzzle may actually come to you through that way, okay? <laughs> yes, okay. That is a confirmation. Yes, that is true. So let's see. Is there anything else? Yeah, I do feel like right now you're going through this healing process. And it's like, don't underestimate that, okay? Because that is actually allowing you to create this change, okay? Hang it tight, change is coming, embrace it. That leads you to your dreams. Your wishes are coming true, okay? So I definitely feel like it's has you heal, has you connect with yourself, has you love yourself, has you... That was a big thing on, on last week's reading. Uh, has you allow yourself to be in this moment and, you know, feel all the feelings. If you feel confused, if you feel lost, that's totally fine, okay? Because I do feel like clarity is coming in and you can only do that with this, with the meditation, with listening to yourself, listening to your body and to your soul. And that is coming through. All right. So let's pull here some star seed oracle to get some more messages. 
What do we need to know here? What is the message? Ooh, Earth it. Learning how to be human in the world, but not of it. So this is, um, this talks about, especially if you're a star seed, you have this thing of like, I'm supposed to be doing more. And like, I feel like I'm not in the right place. I have this feeling of another world, of how I used to do things. You're always imagining that, oh, you know, I just want to go home. I just want to go to another galaxy, to another place. You're already where you need to be. You know, it's you came here for a reason. That reason is this. And I feel like you're wanting to skip some steps. Don't skip the steps, okay? Because the steps are necessary for you to find yourself, for you to understand and know who you are and what you're supposed to do. And I feel like that's what you're getting to know. Okay, so really embrace this moment that you're in right now. Yeah, fall into my arms, surrender, holding the opposites, extremes of life. And look what's right here under the deck. I remember, soul plan, fated life versus destiny life. This is your life purpose, okay? If you feel like you're not in your life purpose um, yet, that is definitely coming. Like the, the big moment of like, oh, okay, so this is it. That is coming, okay? Change is coming. Embrace it. And I feel like it's also about embracing this present moment. Surrender. Okay? Ooh. Let's see what we have here. Uh, Queen of Wands. Look at that passion. Four of Wands and Justice. Things are really getting balanced for you. Let's see. Can we get something else? Uh-huh. Yeah kind of knew there was something else and this high priestess I, I do feel like it's also very very important because this is that thing of connecting with your intuition connecting with your guides they will give you all the answers and some of the answers may actually come up as ideas that was also a big thing from last week's reading and I feel like now you're getting the plan it's like you were getting that aha moment of, okay, so this is this is the idea. This is what is going to bring me money. This is what's going to make me happy. This is what's going to create a solid career. And now I feel like you're getting that click of, okay, so this is the next step. And this is the next step. Because I feel like it could have been like too far away. It's like, oh, I see the idea, but like, how do I do it? I don't have the um, degree to do it. I don't have the knowledge to do it. I don't have this. I don't have that. And I feel like you're finally realizing that you do have that. And so because of it, you're really creating balance in your life. And you're really creating this beautiful, beautiful career where some, um, for those of you who are dealing with clients, things could actually be speeding up and it may be a bit difficult for you to manage it all. Not that you're going to like freak out and like not survive. I just feel like it's, it, there's a lot of flow to your business, if we're talking about a business, there's a lot of work coming in, okay? Because you're in a grounded, solid place now, all right? Let's see what else we have. Is there anything else? Ooh. Aha, uh -huh. okay. <laughs> yeah, so right there, we have, we're here, and it's a five card. Fives are all about change, okay, and transformation, and that is what's happening here, okay? And with here, it's like trick or treating. I don't think that you are getting a trick, okay? I feel like you're getting a treat, because you have been through the, the tricks, um, fairy of the divine hand, intoxication, distorted view, overindulgence. And I kind of feel like you could have been overworking. And so all the delays and everything was for you to connect with your body. And now that I feel like you are in that stable place where you do things out of fun, you do things because you love them and you do things with excitement that is allowing new opportunities to come forth. Okay. That's beautiful. So let's see here. Some final advice for you. 
Let's see, what do we have for those watchings? Ha! <laughs> Guess what card just went to the floor? We have success. Believe in yourself and dare to dream big, okay? Let's see. We also have here bear. It is safe to, to step fully into your light. So again, this is your life purpose. And you may feel like you are not good enough for this. You may feel like you're not worthy of this. You are. And this is your light. This is your true being. This is who you're meant to be here. Okay? That is bringing you a lot of success. So that is where you're headed. Okay? We also have the crane with surrender. Again, let go of limiting beliefs. Be as expensive in your thoughts. As your soul is. There's that thing. Your thoughts create your reality. And right now, believing is the most important thing you can do. Okay? Because I definitely feel like you're gaining communication, like we talked about. And when that communication comes forward, you may be thinking, oh, yeah, well, that's never going to happen. So I might as well just ignore it and not do anything about it. Do something about it. Follow it. Okay? I feel like it's not going to make sense at all. It's going to feel like so out of what you're used to do. You know, I feel like it's going to be a bit crazy, a bit weird, you know, but I feel like at the same time, it's going to feel good and it's going to feel exciting. I just feel like it's going to feel weird because of fear. It's going to feel weird and it's going to feel like it doesn't really make any sense because you're not, you, you don't know that part of yourself and you're trying, you are guides in the universe. They're trying to get, they're trying to show you that part of yourself. Okay. So be open to it. Let's see, is there anything else? Yeah, sloth, recalibrate, reset, recharge. And is there anything else? We have the chameleon. Soul tribe, it is safe to be seen. Okay? It is safe to do this. Because I feel like you're also attracting people that match your energy, you know? Um, there is this thing of like when you're your most authentic self, when you do the things you want to do, when you are living the life you want, you're inspiring others to do the same, okay? And that couldn't be any truer, okay? So I feel like you need to be a bit compassionate to yourself, a bit gentle with yourself and tell yourself that you are doing great, that everything is working out how it's supposed to, okay? And that you're on the right path because you are, okay? You're on the path to your life purpose, okay? So birds, this is what I have for you. I hope it resonated. hope it helped. If it did, don't forget to smash the like button for me to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, if you're interested in a private reading, the link is going to be down below once again. And uh, also, if you feel called to support me in any uh, other way, I am totally grateful for that. And I totally appreciate it, but it's not at all expected of you. So if you don't, that's totally fine. I still am so grateful for you being here. Um, and yeah, that's it. So I love you and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.